September when I last talked to you guys, and I'm finally back. I hope you guys are also back there, too. Oh, I can see Tay. Yes, I have just started. <laughs> and Tang, you got you're here too. Igo Moya. Oh hello. Hello, Igo Moya Nim. And yeah, we're back here live. And it's been two months since I last talked to you guys. And you know, the moment we hit the streaming key just now, <laughs> something went wrong again. It always happens. I mean, something goes wrong on the night of the live show. So we had to adjust some setting and finally. I am here live with you guys. Well, welcome to our show. I'm seeing some names here. Um, one of them is Tay. Yes. Let us know. Let me know where you're from, Tay. And I, one of them is Tang. And also there's a Yi Gon Moya. Definitely the person is Korean, I think. Okay. All right. Where is the chat room? How can I see the chat room? Can I turn this off? Okay. All right. Um, last night, actually, I was watching the soccer game. I was watching the World Cup soccer game between Korea and Uruguay. And of course, I was cheering for the Korean team. And um, uh, the game lasted until like 12, after 12, after midnight. And then I felt a little excited because the Korean team did a, such a good job. So I drank a little bit. <laughs> of vodka and some tomato juice so it was basically bloody mary cocktail and i you know felt really good so i had three glasses of it and um you know i you know after drinking you don't feel like yourself the next day right i mean i mean like i'm old i'm not that young to be like all fresh <laughs> and I didn't feel well all day long today, but I've been working all day long and my last class just ended at like 6.30 and then it came to the studio and then I got ready for this live shooting and then here I am. I feel a little bit uncomfortable because it's been two months and you know like when you're not in front of the camera you tend to like sort of loosen up and you i sort of ate a little bit more than usual i was drinking last night so i feel bloated so i feel a little uncomfortable but i'm happy to see you guys hi hon thank you for joining hello mick lee and ivy liu you're from J taiwan and i see esperanza yes you're also attending the show thank you for coming and teiji yes i was busy to reply to you personally but yeah you saw the notice right on tuesday actually after you sending me a notice a message on cacao i talked to my team and that's when we finally made a decision that we're going to do a live this month so that's how it happened and I do have a set of toy speaking question. And also, um, when Tadashi joins the show, maybe tonight, I'm going to tell you, share a very, very good piece of news with you guys, okay? Try Lynn. Hi, Lynn. Welcome to the show. All right. Okay, so it's the World Cup month, the month of World Cup. And actually, last night, there was a game between Korea and Uruguay. And, you know, from the 2002 World Cup, Korea has been known for, like, we're very, very famous for cheering for our national football team, soccer team. So there's a place called Gwanghwa Moon. It's near the Blue House of Korea. And there's this big square. It's not even a square. It's just the, like, there are, I think, eight way or four it's not it's like 16 way street back and forth and it's really really wide so they would block all the traffic and people would gather there and like cheer for some kind of an event and sometimes they would have demonstrations so it's a big place it's a big event place where people would gather and last night i happened to pass by that area i wasn't there to cheer for the team because it was too late for me to be there it's a it's a little bit far from the area that i live in so i was there i was just passing by and i saw people already gathering up around like 6 30 p.m so i was like wow these people are really serious i mean there are a lot of people who are not even born in 2002 whereas i was in my 20s in 2002 and i 
clearly remember what happened in Korea and Japan in 2002. Guys, remember? Like, we we had a combined, like, we we had that co, you know, a host version of the, uh, you know, the football, the, the World Cup. And we had half the games held in Korea and we had half the games held in Japan. And when Korea was, like, you know, running in the games, people went crazy. I mean, Koreans went crazy. And that's, like, exactly where it was, like, the starting point of all that chicken and beer culture. People would gather at chicken places, like chicken restaurants, and we would drink beer and have chicken, fried chicken as our side dishes, and we would drink. And if our team won, the owner of the restaurant would just like give everything for free. Everything was on the house. So like people were really, really excited about how Korean soccer team was going up, up, up to the fourth top. But yeah, this time, I'm not sure if we're going to be able to make it into like the 16th. I mean, like Japan, you guys did a good job. You guys won against Germany. That is so amazing. I mean, we're going to soon have a game against Ghana and Portugal. And hopefully, we get to win one of them. Yeah. And, you know, until the, not last month, but the month before, we in September, we had some problem connecting like you guys live to talk with me on Instagram. Instagram live so we have you know adjusted that format too we had gave given some changes and we're going to be using something called Google Hangout okay so it's called Google Hangout and it's a it might sound a little complicated but listen carefully at the end of the show, towards the end of show, if you guys send in your email address through our chat room, we're going to send you an invite. And once you receive the invitation note or the invite, you click on that invite and that's all you got to do. You'll be entering a room where you get to talk to me one-on-one, -on -one, okay? And you can get feedback on your English answers for TOEIC speaking, whatever that we talk about on the show tonight. Okay, so Tanashi, yes, thank you for coming on the show because you know what, I, you know, I forgot to press the send button after our last chat because I, I said, Tadashi, can I share your story on our show, on our live show this week, on this Friday? And I forgot to press the send button, so I wasn't able to, you know, ask you that thing. But anyways, guys, so Tadashi is here and I'd like to share the piece of news, the good news with you guys. May I? Could I, Tadashi? I'd like to your I, I would like for your, you know, yes. Acceptance on that. Yeah. Oh. Hi Suminyan. Thank you for joining the show. I'm having my beverage ready. It's the carbonated water. The sparkling water. Yeah. No. Sounds good. Uh -huh. Ticklish, ticklish, ticklish. And you know what? And in order to save the environment, I decided to use this glass straw. Yeah. I can reuse it over and over again. Very cheap. Okay. All right. Thank you. So Tadashi actually uh -huh, been using our channel and he's been using only our channel. That's what he said. And he's been reading some of my materials and he got, guys, don't be surprised. He got perfect score on toy speaking. He got 200 level eight. I mean, that is so amazing. It's really hard to achieve that unless you are like really, really fluent in English. And, you know, he visited Korea two months ago, and that's when we met personally, and he talked to some of my students, and he also said that was very helpful for him to achieve level eight, because he was struggling to go up, one level up from level seven to eight. So congratulations, Tadashi. I wanted to tell you this live, okay? All right, so my team is hurrying me up. They're telling me that it's been already 15 minutes since we started. So let me get on with part one. And this is the first passage. So I want to hurry up and share you my, you know, answer and the way to approach each question. And at the end of the show, I would like to hear more and more of your answers, okay? I hope the new format works better. Anyway, this is the first passage, and I would like to read it to you guys first. Listen carefully. 
Ladies and gentlemen, we will arrive at Bakersfield Station in 15 minutes. Don't forget to take your trash, luggage, and other personal belongings with you when you leave the train. Thank you for choosing Southern Express for your trip, and we hope to see you again soon. Okay. So that is the first passage. Now, if you find any words difficult to read, let me know. I will pronounce it for you. And I have Samuel joining from Vietnam, and it seems like good news again. Hello, Gwen. I've just got 190 speaking. That's amazing. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. And 180 writing and TOEIC speaking and writing test. Thank you so much for all your helpful videos. I've been practicing with those since the beginning of preparing for the. Wow. Wow. It seems like I've been doing some good things for you guys, huh? Okay. Well, Tay, it never happened to you. You know, you gotta have that like endless effort. It will happen to you one day. Don't worry, okay? All right, now I'd like to go over some words in our first passage. Now, when you read it to me or on the show, I want you guys to be uh, careful about the word ladies and gentlemen, okay? The word gentlemen, you know, has that J sound. So when you're making the correct J sound, your lips got to be pulled out to the fore or fore or front. Gent, gent. A lot of Koreans would say gentlemen, gentlemen, but it's actually gentlemen, Gentlemen, you got to pull out your lips. Gentlemen, gentlemen, okay? So ladies and gentlemen, we'll arrive at Bakersfield Station, all right? Bakersfield Station is the name. It's not so hard. It's Bakersfield Station in 15 minutes. Now, when you're reading the word 15, please note that the stress goes on the second syllable, which is E-E, -E, right? It's not 15. When you read it 15, it sounds like 50. 50. It's not 50. It's not 5 0. It's 1 5. It's 15. 15. So the stress has got to go on EE. -E. 15 minutes. Now, don't forget to take your trash, luggage, and personal belongings. That is the part where the A, B, and ordering part is. The first word is trash. It's not tureshi. It's trash, trash, with almost like the CH sound, trash. The next word is luggage luggage and the third not the word but third chunk is other personal belongings now personal and other has the first syllable stress but the belonging the word belonging has the second syllable stress so it's got to be belongings belongings other personal belongings with you when you leave the train now thank you for choosing the word southern express Southern, you know, unlike Northern, Eastern, Western, this word is not Southern, but it's Southern, Southern. So some may say this as, read this as Southern, but that's wrong. It's got to be Southern, Southern Express for your trip. And we hope to see you again soon. All right. Lastly, I would like to make a note on the word again. It's not again, but it's again, again. Okay, it's not A-E, the vowel, you don't rate, read it as A-E, A-I, again, but it's again. It's more like an E, short vowel E, again, again. Jennifer, congratulations, Tadashi. Yes, it's a very big congratulations to give to him. And how can he speak English like Gwen? Well, you know, everybody has different background. I mean, I have a background of learning English almost as a mother tongue because... I grew up in the States and I was there since I um, was seven. So it's a little different. And I lived in the States for almost more than like 10 years. So, uh, and um, I think I'm a little bit too excited tonight because my teams like keep on like giving me a, their feedback saying, you are speaking too fast. You are speaking faster than your normal speed. Ask the viewers if it is okay. <laughs> So guys, let me know if I'm speaking too fast. I think I've been watching too many like YouTube videos and most of them are speaking really, really fast. And I have been talking to you guys for almost two months. So I lost that sense of the moderate speed. Okay, I'll try to slow down a bit. Okay, so that was our first passage and I'll read it to you again. Listen carefully. 
Ladies and gentlemen, we will arrive at Bakersfield Station in 15 minutes. Don't forget to take your trash, luggage, and other personal belongings with you when you leave the train. Thank you for choosing Southern Express for your trip, and we hope to see you again soon. Okay, so that was the first one. Mm. And the second one is this one here. Let me take a sip here. Mm. All right. Now, first one was an announcement that you could hear on a train. And a second one is a phone message. It's a telephone message. Okay. So I'll read this one very, very slowly. So you guys can figure out some words and the sound of the words. Okay. Thank you for calling Crystal Dental Clinic. We are located at 527 Stanley Avenue, and we are open from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. Monday through Friday and closed on Saturdays, Sundays, and national holidays. Woo! I ran out of breath. And if you wish to talk to one of our customer service representatives, please hold, and your call will be answered momentarily. All right, I see a lot of familiar words. You know, a lot of phone messages would start with the expression, thank you for calling, right? Or it would start with, you have reached. But this time it's, thank you for calling. All right, thank you for calling. The name is Crystal Dental Clinic. Crystal Dental Clinic, right? And we are located. Now, the word located, you got to be careful because sometimes you may see the word location and here you see the word locate. The word located has the first syllable of stress. So it's got to be located. Lo. O has stress. So it's we are located. We are located. But when you see the word location, the stress goes right, the, the syllable in front of T-I-O-N, right? So it's location, location, located, 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 location, location, location. It's different, right? So we are located at 527 Stanley Avenue, Stanley, and we are open from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. And I thought that was the end, but it isn't. Monday through Friday, closed on Saturdays. You see the S at the end? S, yeah. Sundays and national holidays. Okay, so Saturday, not just one Saturday. That's why they said Saturdays, Sundays, and national holidays. If you wish to talk to one of our customer service representatives we always see this word and these three words go together customer service representative s-e-n that syllable has the stress so it's got to be customer service representative representative please hold and your call will be answered the last word momentarily momentarily the stress has to go on the syllable t-a momentarily momentarily. So uh, at the end of this whole passage, we see the word momentarily, meaning quickly, right? Soon. So we he see either momentarily, as soon as possible, or lastly, the word would be shortly. Okay. These are the three options that we normally see at the end of a message. Momentarily is the one that we saw just now for the second passage. Now, Being this our second passage, I'm going to read it to you, but this time I'm going to read it a little bit faster, okay? But before I move on, do you guys want me to go over any of the words here? Crystal Dental Clinic. We are located, located at 527. Oh, yes, the word, the, the number, 527. You can either say 527, or you could just say 527. You can go separately, 527 Stanley Avenue. And you know, that is the address. Okay, so I'll read it for you guys, but this time faster. Thank you for calling Crystal Dental Clinic. We are located at 527 Stanley Avenue and we're open from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. Monday through Friday and closed on Saturdays, Sundays, and national holidays. If you wish to talk to one of our customer service representatives, please hold and your call will be answered momentarily.
Okay. Oh, that was easier because I read it faster. So I was running out of breath less. But that is a quite long, you know, sentence. It is really long. There are like almost 30 words in that one sentence. All right. So that was our second passage. Now, you guys got to help me out with the sec uh, with uh, the part two. Hello, Minji-nim. Uh, Minsu-nim. Minji-su-nim. Yes. Hello. You guys have to help me out because I need to know if you guys know the expressions to be used for this picture. You guys got to let me know what you want to say and I'll, you know, blend all the expressions and all the words into my answer. Okay? So let me know what which words or expressions you want me to use in the answer. It is a, you know, when you see this kind of picture on the test, you might think, oops, oh my gosh, I, I you know, I messed it up. I'm, I'm not going to be able to say anything much about this picture. But actually, there is a lot to say. There are many things to say. Okay, don't worry about some specific expressions or specific word that you do not know. It doesn't matter. Just try to focus on the things that you could say. Okay, and let me know what you want to say. Construction place. Yes, you can say it's a construction place or you could also say it's a construction site. It's a construction site. Okay. Or you can just say it's a room. I think it's somewhere inside. It's an office. It's inside a building, right? You don't even have to say it's a construction site. Okay, good. It's inside. It's inside a building. It's taken in a building or at a construction site. Mm -hmm. And anybody else? Oh, Evita. Yes, she is checking something, right? She is checking. She is checking the materials that would be used, right? She is checking some things on a list. Uh, there are construction workers. Yes, Mr. Lim, there are construction workers. And they're wearing safety vests and helmets. Good. And construction protective hats. That's also another word you can say. Luminous shirt. Hmm. Okay. And clipboard. She's holding a clipboard. That's true. And she's wearing glasses, safety glasses. Or, you know, sometimes they call it goggles. Goggles, but you could also call them glasses. Protect suits, protection suits. You could say protective hats. Kneeling down. Uh, you got that spelling wrong. It's K-N-E-E-L. But still, I, I know what you mean. It's kneeling down. He's kneeling down, right? And on the right side of the picture, there's a man. Is that a guy? Oh, that's a guy. Uh, he's kneeling down. He's checking the electric wire. Okay, that's an electric wire. Good. Safety vest would be the best suitable word. It would be the most suitable word. It's safety vest. Mm -hmm. mm, water wall? What is it? Water wall? I would say electric wire. Electric wire. Yeah. And uh, Susu, this is a picture taken at a construction site because you're talking about this place for the first time. So you would say this is a picture taken at a construction site, a construction site. And they look like workers. They both are wearing safety helmets and vests, right? And uh, one of them is standing up. Yeah, she is holding a clipboard. Somebody mentioned it and she is checking some information, writing something. And the man is wearing a red safety hat and he is kneeling down and looking at something or right? he's looking at the electric wire. Mm hmm. Jisun Nim, you gave me some very useful expressions and Tang, you also gave me some useful information. Mm hmm. All right, so um, I think I've got enough expressions to give you my answer, actually. I mean, I don't want to go in too deep on like what you need to talk or what you need to say about the picture because when you go to the test and when you go take a test and you sit there in front of the computer and once the test starts you cannot do anything about it i mean you cannot come up with the words that you do not know so you got to be able to use the words that you already know okay 
to get closer to a good answer. There's never a correct answer for TOEIC speaking. There's not a perfect answer, okay? The woman is holding the pen. That's right, woman with long hair is standing up and holding a document, okay? I would stay with the clipboard, okay? I like that expression, clipboard. Guys, remember the word clipboard. Okay, so here's my answer. This is a picture taken at a construction site and I can see two people in this picture. They look like construction workers. One of them is kneeling down or he's squatting down. He is wearing a red helmet and he is looking at something. Okay, it looks like electric wire. And on the left side of the picture, a woman is standing up. She's wearing a white helmet and a vest. She is holding a clipboard and writing down something and maybe checking some information. Maybe they're busy. Okay? And at the end of your answer, I always say you guys, uh, tell you guys to end it up with something like, maybe they're busy, maybe they're working hard, or maybe they're having a good time. Or if it's a street, if it's a scene of a street, you could say, maybe they're going somewhere, right? It doesn't have to be so complicated. It doesn't have to be so complicated, okay? All right. So that was the uh, first picture. That was actually the first picture. And doo -doo -doo. we see this kind of picture all the time, don't we? It's a picture that we've seen. It's a very similar picture. It's not the same picture. It's never the same picture. Totally speaking, I mean, ETS, they never use the same picture again and again and again. But we see some similarities, okay? Now, this is a grocery store, or we could call it a supermarket or a store. And there is a clerk. Definitely, there's a clerk. There are some customers. And you can say this is a check out counter it's a checkout counter okay and some people might say calculating but nobody's calculating here i mean calculating is something like one plus one is two two times two is four but nobody is calculating here people a man is checking out or a woman actually the customers are checking out their purchase that's why it's called a checkout counter guys that is why we call this a checkout counter because people are checking out people are checking out their purchase okay and the guy the clerk he's holding a pineapple okay for those of you who do not know that's something called pineapple all right his pineapple and he's not, he's not a pineapple he's holding a pineapple and he is about to scan the pineapple right that's called scanning he's going to beep, he's going to scan the pineapple and there's a monitor okay and two people are standing in line they're waiting for their turns right and cashier cashier counter you can just call it a cash up uh, the guy's a cashier okay and this is a checkout counter Man is wearing a striped shirt, that's true, and scanning a pineapple, that's correct. The man is also wearing a white apron, like Evita said. He's wearing a white apron and he's also wearing glasses, yes. Mm-hmm. I drank it right out from the bottle when I had this prepared for myself. How dumb of me. Hold on. Mm-hmm. It's dead. Okay. So nothing more. Nothing more to say. Oh, and you know what? You can also say the woman here on the right side, the customer, it looks like she is, you know, asking for some help or asking something, asking a question. She's wearing many layers of necklaces, I think. She's wearing lots of necklaces and she has curly hair very vol she has like this volume of hair she's like she has like very curly wavy hair um yeah that's about it i think i have enough to say within 30 seconds don't you think so the woman is smiling that's true tongue she is smiling yes okay i think i'm ready all right so guys listen to my answer 
Now, this is a picture taken at a grocery store, and there are several people in this picture. And on the left side of the picture, there is a man, and he's wearing an apron. He's holding a pineapple, and he's about to scan the pineapple. On the right side of the picture, there's a woman, and she has long curly hair, and she is standing in front of the checkout counter, and maybe she is trying to check out her purchase. And in the background of the picture, I can see two more ladies, and both of them are standing in line and waiting for their turns. And maybe they're busy. Okay, oh my, I, I almost wrapped out my answer. I was almost like wrapping. There's, there's just so many things to say about this picture. Okay, the man is checking out for, okay, you can't say the man is checking out because the customer is checking out. So you can say the man, you know, the cashier, the checkout, the, the, the clerk, he is helping the customer. He is assisting the customer, okay? He is assisting the customer check out her purchase, okay? That's what you could say about the man. He's just working, okay? He's checking her out. You could say she, he is checking her out. But, you know, like he is holding a pineapple. He's about, he is about to scan the pineapple. The woman, the customers are checking out their purchases. Okay? Good question, Ivy. Ah, gosh. All right. Okay, so I think I'm ready here set for part two. I am a little bit excited to talk about part three actually today. Okay. Uh, because, you know, uh, for the last like almost four or five weeks when I was teaching my students, I was using a different way to approach part three and like simply like answering, a a questioning and answering like process. And now today, I, first of all, the topic today is about online games. It's about playing online games. Jisoo, you think this picture is difficult? Actually, it is a little bit difficult because there are four people. And if you're not used to like talking about many people, then it could be a little bit complicated and it could make you feel, make, you know, you could feel it's a little bit difficult and tricky. Okay. Anyway, part three is about playing online games. To be honest, I have nothing to say about this. Because I do not play online games, sadly. I um, wanted to learn how to play League of Legends because of Gwen. But, you know, I just gave up on it. It was too hard for me. I don't know why. But, you know, they're asking as if, as if you guys do, all of you are playing online games. Which in case, in my case, is not. Now, the first question here is, when was the last time you played an online game? I mean, I don't play an online game, you know. Did you use a laptop at that time? I mean, I don't play a laptop. I don't play an online game, so I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to be using a laptop computer or a desktop computer, but the question is asking me, when was the last time you played an online game? As if the person thinks that, you know, you play online games, so let me know when you last played it. So if I have to be honest, I would say, I'm sorry. I mean, like, oh, let me turn on the timer. If I have to be honest, I would say, you know what? I don't play online games and I don't play it. So I don't know whether I'm going to be using a laptop computer or a desktop computer. But I'm telling you, I don't play online games. So I don't have an answer for this question. I'm sorry. Okay. Well, first of all, it wasn't an affirmative answer. It was a negative answer. I said, no, I don't play it. No, I don't know. No, I don't have an answer. No, I'm sorry. But you know what? I'm going to get a full mod for this. I'm going to get a full score. I'm going to get a perfect score for this answer. Because I spoke English fluently. I explained why I do not have an answer for this question. I said, I'm sorry, I'm not a game player. I don't play online games and I don't know because I don't know whether I'm going to be using a laptop computer or a desktop computer because I never play online games. So I don't have an answer for this. So I, not, I didn't simply say, I don't know. I have no idea. I don't play it. Instead of saying it that shortly, I, you know, kept on talking why I do not have an appropriate answer for these two questions. 
which explains everything, right? The two, you know, two questions, I didn't answer any of them, but, you know, I explained it. But for most of you, it's not going to be easy to say such thing, okay? So I always say to give them a positive answer. Positive answer being something like this. Um, you know, yesterday I played an online game and I played an online game called Tetris and I was playing it on my laptop computer and I played it with my friends and it was very fun and I was able to get rid of stress. Always, always give an affirmative answer. Always give a positive answer. Say yes to everything and make it up. Make up your answer. You don't have to be true. You don't have to be honest for this test. We're not talking about like, you know, we're not trying to make you be honest. It's not truth or dare kind of like, you know, situation. Okay, Ivy said last month I played an online game called Minecraft with my sons. And I didn't use a laptop at that time. I used a desktop computer because it was a bigger screen. Okay, good. That is a very good answer because it has a bigger screen. Good. And I usually play online games when I am free at work. <laughs> when you're free at work, Jesus, really? Really? I use my desktop computer when I play games. Good. I practiced these questions yesterday and I played the online game Cart Rider last week. Okay. The game with my computer last time. All right. And you know, guys, when you get the question, make sure to repeat a part of it. I mean, like I played an online game yesterday. And when you say that sentence, I was repeating, I played an online game from the question. And I used the laptop computer at that time. I, you know, basically repeated everything in that sentence except for the word did, right? So it's really important to repeat what has been used. Repeat all the words that have been used in the question. That's what I am training my students on. I mean, like you are given the question on the screen so that use it as a full advantage. Look at the question, use a part of it, just repeat a part of it and you can recreate a sentence so easily, okay? Susu, Susu, I played an online game eight years ago when I was in secondary school. At the time, I just played game on the phone, but now I don't play online games anymore because I don't have much free time. Susu's answer is great, okay? I mean, you guys, your answers are great. The thing is, now the second thing here, the th second thing that you guys got to talk about is it's not only about the content. It's not what you say. It is how you say it. It's about the sound, right? I mean, Tadashi, when he was here in Korea, I was amazed to talk to him in English fully during, I think, like almost like four or five hours. You no, know, we were together because he is Japanese. And he was not born and raised in, you know, any English speaking country, but his English pronunciation was really, really nice to listen to. It was really, really good. I mean, like he wasn't native all good, but, you know, still I was able to understand his English. And, you know, us Koreans and Japanese were known for having bad pronunciation, but his English, but his English was really, really good because of his pronunciation. And I think that is like one of the key factors why he got level eight why he got a perfect score 200 way to go tadashi so guys it's not about what you say it's also about how you say it and one of the most important elements factors is the pronunciation okay the linking sound the pronunciation the stress those are all important factors when it comes to english sound okay Lam, ciao. I played an online game named League of Legends on my laptop last Friday. That's a great answer. I mean, you, you gave everything. And also, one more thing, Lam. You need to fulfill that time, which is 15 seconds, okay? You got to fulfill that time. You can't just say a very short answer and just like wait until the time passes by. You got to fulfill that 15 seconds. And if you want to fulfill that 15 seconds with English, it's got to be at least three sentences. But some teacher asks us not to repeat the question title. She thinks that it's not good. Which way can you <laughs> repeat it? I'm telling you, repeat it. Didn't I say you got, you got to like fulfill that 15 seconds 
And in order to fulfill that 15 seconds, you have to say at least three sentences. I mean, you can add on more sentences. I'll show you. I mean, I will repeat the question again. I'll, I'm going to repeat it. And I'm going to like, you know, say the same thing that the question is asking me, but I'm going to like give additional information. Look, I played an online game yesterday and I used the laptop computer at that time because I don't have a desktop computer and I don't like to use my phone because the screen is too small. So I used the laptop computer. I basically copied and pasted what's given in the questions and I still added two or I think maybe three more sentences there. It doesn't matter whether you repeat it or not, as long as you can add more to what's originally given. Okay. I hope you understand. It's not about repeating or not repeating. That's not the main thing here. Okay. And question six. Do you prefer to play online games alone or with others? Again, you can repeat as long as you add on more information. Now, Tadashi here is saying, I'm flattered. Wow. That, that is some kind of a, like, you know, native expressions that you can use. I'm flattered. I feel good. I'm sure you have to be able to make English sounds without thinking about it so that you can focus on what you're saying. That's right. That's what he said when he visited me in front of my students. He really emphasized and, you know, he said really that, you know, making the right sound, the pronunciation. You you spend quite a long time, right? Fixing your pronunciation, right? Getting that sound right. So that really inspired me. So the day, the next day, the next you know, lesson on, I really, really focused on changing, like correcting my students' pronunciation and the stresses and everything. And they improved a lot. Actually, it helped them listen to English because they can make the right sound. They can listen to English better. They can understand the English sound better. So everything got better. Thank you, Tadashi. Okay, the second question. Do you prefer to play online games alone or with others? So I, I would say, you know, this a good answer would start something like, I prefer to play online games alone. Or you could say, I prefer to play online games with others. It doesn't matter whether you copy and paste it. You just got to add on some more sentences and information. Am I speaking in the right speed now? Did I get the right speed now? I think I'm speaking slower now than the beginning part of our show today. All right. So for this question, now the second thing comes here. So you would repeat the question and you would give an answer, right? You would say, yes, I prefer this or yes, I prefer that. Or as Prevenza said, it depends on which game I play. Okay, that is a very good choice. This or that. The thing is, how are you going to add on more sentences, right? How am I going to add on more sentences? That is the biggest question that I get for part three. Now, I always tell my students to add, the next word to add is but, and, or, so, okay? If you add these four words, you gotta add just one of them, and, slash, but, slash, or, slash, so, then you can think about what, to give as a connecting sentence. For example, I prefer to play online games alone, but sometimes I play online games with others. See, I added up another sentence using but, or I would say I prefer to play online games alone and I prefer to play alone in my room. See, that's how I added with using the word and. And, um, I prefer to play online games alone or I would not play an online game because I don't like to play with others. With the word or, that's how I would say it. And the word because, mm, I prefer to play online games alone because my friends are annoying. I don't like to play with my friends and I just like to play online games alone. Okay. So try to add more sentences to the sentence that you use to repeat the question. 
it's not an easy thing. Yeah, you got to practice. And it's never easy to say something as fast as I'm doing right now. Yeah. And I like the way how some people are saying it depends on the situation. Actually, when it's about like choosing one or the two, I would always go with it depends on the situation. And that's what I've been telling you guys, because that is an easier way to make your answers longer. You talk about the case A and then you talk about the case B and voila, you got a longer answer there. Board games. Okay, Che, um, here we're talking about online games. So you could also say, I prefer to play online games alone and um, I prefer to play board games with my friends. I think that's another option. Mm. Okay, defeat. The word defeat is good, Tom. I can play with my friends to de defeat other players. Good. Ms. Baranza. Ms. Gwen, actually, I was thinking about next sentences. Okay, so here's my answer. Well, I prefer, it depends on the situation, actually. When I don't have much time, I would just turn on my computer and play the online games alone. But if I have much time, I would call some of my friends and I would play online games together because it's more fun. Okay. Like when you're doing an activity alone, it means that, you know, you don't want to bother other people and you don't have time to arrange the time and everything. So that's why I always say I like to do something alone because, you know, I don't have time. I don't have time to call others and heat, heat people up and I don't have time to make an arrangement. But if I have enough time, I would call my friend A, I would call my friend B, and I would like, you know, find the time that's suitable for, for everyone and we would, you know, log on together and play a game together. So that's basically what I would say. What well, was it too fast? Let me give you a slower version. Here, here's a slower version. Well, it depends on the situation. I mean, if I have enough time, I prefer to play online games with others because it's more fun. But if I don't have enough time, then I prefer to play online games alone. Okay, that is a shorter and slower version. But I said basically almost everything, like 85% of what I said quickly. <laughs> okay. All right, and here goes the last question for part three. Do you think that it is okay for children to play online games in their free time? Hmm. What do you guys think? I mean, I don't have a kid. I'm not married and I don't have a kid. I don't have any kids of my own, so I have nothing to say. But looking at the situation from a teacher's perspective, I'm a teacher, right? And I teach students. My youngest student is in his fifth grade, so he would be like, let's say it's 11 or 12. And looking at, you know, the perspective of, you know, from the teacher's perspective, I think it is okay. I mean, it's in their free time, right? I mean, if we limit the time of playing an online game, then I think there should be no problem. The problem comes when they play online games for hours and hours and hours endlessly. And I've seen some, you know, kids doing that. I've seen some parents let them do that. And I think that is a problem. But playing online games in their free time, I think it's fine. And, and now you got to explain why it is fine. Because this answer has got to be 30 seconds long. And when an answer is 30 seconds long, it means that you got to speak at least five to six sentences. And if you want to speak five or six sentences, then you got to have an idea about what you want to say about your opinion. So that is not the easy part. Lam Chow. I think it's okay for children to play online games in their free time, but we must deal with them how long they can play games. Yes, we must instruct them. We must tell them how long they can play. We must instruct them in the correct direction, right? We must give, it a, give them a time limitation. Time limitation. Limit is the verb. You must limit the time, okay? You must limit their playing time, the gaming time. Hmm. 
And, you know, because games are so addictive is one of the expressions that I would use. Games are so addictive. And it's not only for kids. It's also for us. I mean, like watching YouTube, you you know how it how hard it is to turn off that YouTube button, right? It's really hard to stop it. I mean, leave now. You guys, can you do that? Leave right now. Go out. Get out of my show. Sorry. Sorry. I'm kidding. <laughs> it's not easy, right? So it's really hard to quit playing a game and you know it's really addictive it's so fun and exciting so it's really hard to stop especially for kids so i think they should be given a limit or they would lose track of time meaning they would play games for hours not only 30 minutes one hour two hour three hour i mean i've seen a lot of kids playing games for days they're on tv some people talk about like negative things about games and those kids are playing games for days. That's a problem. Yeah, Jisoo, I think it is okay when they finish your homework. That is perfectly correct. <laughs> if they start the game, they will never stop until bedtime. They will not finish the homework and get bad score at school. I love Jisoo's uh, answer, Jisoo. It's like calling Jisoo a black pink. Jisoo mean Jisoo, yes? And Ivy, I uh, think uh, it, it is okay for the children to play online games in their free time because children can learn many things from online games. That is also true because I've seen a lot of online games that are teaching and which are teaching students. And uh, I have some friends, uh, sons of my friends, and they are learning many things from the game. They're learning many things from YouTube. I mean, this kid is learning Spanish from YouTube. <laughs> so it's, it's his teacher. The YouTube is his teacher. So I don't say no. I completely support people letting like their kids watch YouTube as long as it's educational or it's good for the kids. It's okay for the kids at least. And oh, Ivy also said when we play online games together, we can improve our relationship. That is also true. And Che, children need to release their stress in their school hole in the life. Mm, they have to escape from their routine. I would say they have to escape from their routine and they have to release their stress from school or from schoolwork. Okay, that's how you would put it. And Ivy Lee also said, my son all loves to play. My sons all love to play an online game called Minecraft. That must be a very fun game. <laughs> they learn so many things from it, such as creativity, problem solving, and system thinking. Okay, I agree. Tongue. I think that it is okay for children to play online game because they can also learn from the games and gain confidence, but parents need to remind their children to keep distance. Keep distance. Okay. Um, like keeping distance physically would be being far away from the game, but you know, um, in children to do it in moderation. What about this? To play games in moderation, play games in moderation. Okay. Like, not so much, not too little, but in moderation. Okay. So, here's my answer. Well, I think it is definitely okay for children to play online games in their free time because as long as the children or the child studies and does his or her homework, I think it is fine because children study a lot at school and they have a lot of homework and especially in Korea, they got to do extra like homework and they go to places called Hagwon where, where they do extra studies. And after that, if they have free time, they got to get rid of stress. They got to release their stress. So I think it is totally fine to let them play online games as long as they're done with their schoolwork, okay? <laughs> so I use the expression as long as. As long as, it means that as long as somebody does it, that is fine. As long as somebody does this, that is fine, okay? And I also said in the beginning, I did copy the question again. I said, I think that it is okay for the children to play online games in the free time. But I also added an adverb saying, I definitely think or did I say, I think that it is definitely okay. I used the word definitely, definitely. Or you could say it is absolutely okay. It is absolutely okay. All right. So you could use those kind of expressions if you don't feel comfortable just copying the whole sentence. You can add an, a word or two, okay, to emphasize your opinion. Good. Now we're past part three. We're gonna move on to part four. Here's the chart. 
it says on the top, Kensington, not country, it's county. Now it's May event schedule. Can you guys see? Well, all right. It's May event schedule and it's happening on like several days in May, May 6th, May 12th, May 14th. There's always going to be TH at the end, May 19th. May 21st. That's an exception. You don't say May 21st. It's May 21st. May 27th. Okay. And of course, those are abbreviated words. It's Saturday, Friday, Sunday, Saturdays, Friday, Sunday, whatever. whatever. And it's that you can see the time when it's happening, what time it's happening, and the name of the event. It's Spring Flower Festival held at Bloomington Valley. It's the Food Truck Day held at Calder Plaza. It's the Half Marathon held at the Kensington Arena. Arena, And of course, it's a marathon, so maybe they would start and finish at the Kensington Arena, but you would run around the town or the county, right? And it's the Folk Art and Music Day held at Century Park. And it's the International Food Festival held at Clinton Center. And lastly, it's the Livestock Show where you get to see the cows, horses, and all those animals at the Kensington Arena. Okay? So some words there like Bloomington, Calder, Kensington Arena, Century Park, Clayton Center my students been complaining to me all the time they're saying oh teacher teacher the word the names it's so hard to read guys it's not about the names it's not only about the names can you read the numbers correctly can you read the words under the word in the, the event the names in the event the names of the event can you read those correctly those are the ones that count more okay it's not only the name Okay, you get this pressure about reading the names correctly in English, but it's not only about the name. I have some, you know, Vietnamese students and I have some uh, Taiwanese students. And I mean, I'm used to reading Japanese names because, you know, like Korea and Japan, we're like, you know, we share lots of culture together and we know a lot of culture which we share together. So I am used to some words. So I am, and also for Koreans, it is really easy to pronounce Japanese. And for Japanese people, it's easier to, for them to pronounce Korean. So, you know, it's easier to read Japanese. But I don't read Japanese. I can't read Japanese. But if they write it in English, I can read it perfectly, almost. But, you know, like some of the Chinese names and some of the Vietnamese names, it's really hard for me to read. But I try my best. You know, in the Vietnamese names with, that start with N? Guyuan, yeah, I try my best to read it. Guyuan, right? Just try your best. So that's the chart. And at the end, the bottom of the chart, it says free participation for local residents. Free. Okay, so it says here. Hello, my name is Haley Walker, and I've just moved here, so I don't know much about the local event. I would really like to participate in some of the events in May and could you help me check some information about them? So this person basically is new to town and she wants to get some information about the events, right? That's how it starts normally. And the first question, when will the half marathon take place? And again, the word marathon for Korean guys, it's not marathon. Koreans, listen to me, it's not marathon, it's marathon. So when will the half marathon take place? You gotta make that clear TH sound, marathon. And what time will it start and end? Okay, it's something that we could have all, we could have all thought about, right? This is a question that could be answered. Okay, so when is it, when is it? All right, guys, what's the answer? When will the half marathon take place? What time will it start and end? You basically have all the verbs that you should use there. You know, I feel like, you know what I feel like right now? I'm feeling, it's like you guys are watching me speak English instead of studying to speaking with me together right now. <laughs> Am I speaking too fast? I feel like you guys are standing, standing in front of the screen saying, 
Why is she talking so fast? I can understand the word. Okay, let me slow down. When will the half marathon take place? And what time will it start and end? That's the question. I need you guys to give me something. Hmm. You know, last night when I was watching the World Cup games, oh, you guys are typing slow. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you some time to type in. So just take your time. I was drinking cocktail called Bloody Mary. And I knew about this this cocktail. I've never, you know, tried it before. But like three weeks ago, I went to a bar with my friend, and you know, I was a little drunk, so I wanted to sober up. And I, you know, he said this is a kind of thing that you could definitely sober up with. It's a cocktail, but it's got alcohol in it, and we can tell them to put less vodka in it, and it's like juice. So we ordered it, and it was like completely. Tomato juice, you know, like tomato juice V8. You know what the one that you tasted? It's not sweet at all, and it's like it tastes so healthy. And then inside that cocktail, they you know gave a stick of celery. So every time I took a sip, everything smelled like celery, and the taste was like V8, like V8. <laughs> I hated it. Like when I was growing up in the states, my mom made me drink V8 every day. She said it's healthy for you. Drink it. I hated it, but anyway. It helped me sober up, so I just was able to like you know walk to my house clearly fresh. Like I was all sober that night. So, anyways, last night I was drunk drinking Bloody Mary, and it was good watching the Korean game. Uh, anyway, okay, so um, Jisoo said it will start at May 14, 8 a.m. to 12 at Kensington area. Okay, Jisoo, first of all, your answer is not good. Let's look at some of the other answers. Now, tongue, you said it will held. Now, that is grammatically wrong because you have to say it will be held on May 14th. You lost the word there. And lamb, you said the half marathon will be held at Kensington Arena on May 14th from 8 a.m. to 12 p.m. That is good. But I would split that all that information into three sentences, okay? I would say one sentence would be it will be held, and the second sentence will be it will start, and the third sentence would be it will finish. Okay. Um, so, oh, and Esperanza, you said it will start from 8 a.m. to 12 p.m., but it starts at 8 and it finishes at 12. So, you have to say it will be held from 8 a.m. to 12 p.m. You can't say it will start from 8 a.m. to 12 p.m. That's basically wrong information. You don't start for four hours, right? Okay, so I would say... Hmm. Okay, I think I, I found my best answer. It's Mr. Lim. Mr. Lim, you said it will be held on Sunday, May 14th from 8 a.m. to 12 p.m. And it will take place at the Kensington Arena. Right. And Esperanza, I wish you would look at the uh, the, the, the answer that's like that has came up uh, at 9.08 p.m. The name is written in Chinese, and that is the w one that I was talking about to you. It's not, it will start from 8 a.m. to 12 p.m., but it's got to be, it will be held from 8 a.m. to 12 p.m. Okay, great. Okay, now I'm going to give you guys the second question. Question number two. My neighbor told me that I shouldn't miss the food truck day. She said that it will be held at Adam Plaza. Is that true? Now, my neighbor told me that I shouldn't miss the food truck day, and she said that it'll be held at Adam Plaza. Is that true? Jimmy Harian. Okay, I liked Jimmy's answer. This is Segura. Good. Yeah, I see some typos, but that's not a problem. I know what you're saying. All right, Lisa, I love your answer too. But you didn't talk about the time because the question was clearly asking about what time it will start and end, right? You got that information. 
out. Okay, guys, the second question. My neighbor told me that I should have missed the food truck day, and she said that it will be held at Adam Plaza. Is that right? Now, today, well, in Korea, we do have, like, food trucks, but it's really hard to find, especially in wintertime. There used to be, I mean, you know, you guys all know, we all know about Gangnam Style, right? And when that guy sang, uh, sorry, not that guy, Sai sang the song Gangnam Style, you know, he was talking about a specific area. We have this culture called Gangnam and Gangbuk, which means Gangnam is the southern part and Gangbuk is the northern part. And, uh... Yeah, I'm getting some feedback from my team. Oh, they say, now before I tell the story, they want me to mention again that at the end of the show, we're going to give you a time, a session where you guys can communicate directly with me. You, can, you guys can talk to me one-on-one. -on -one. And the way we're going to do it is you guys are going to upload your email address. That's it, your email address on our chat room. And we're going to send you an invite. And when we send you that invite or the invitation message, all you got to do is click and you guys are in this room with me one-on-one -on -one and you get to get feedback from me, okay? So where was I? All right, so in Gangnam, there used to be the street where, you know, there were all like these food, not trucks, but tents. And at night, after like, you know, having some drinks or after watching movies, you could just walk out and along that side of the street. I'm pretty sure if you guys been here in Korea, you guys were here in Gangnam and there's a long street that I'm, you guys know that what I'm talking about. And along that street was like all these food tents where you were able to try street food. Uh, that was in my 20s. But you know what? You know what? The Korean government got rid of it. I mean, like, not the Korean government, but the Seoul city government got rid of it. Because the reason for that, they say, it doesn't look good. Yeah, they got rid of it. And I think it was, like, a huge part of, like, Gangnam culture. I really miss it. You know, you used to be able to eat knife food. Like, you stand inside the tent and you would eat those knife food. It tasted really good, too. But now, they got rid of it. We don't have it anymore. Sucks. And they widened the road. Used to be narrower, the street. I think like it's 12-way street, back and forth. It used to be narrower. Uh, okay, so let me look at some answers here. Lee said, I'm afraid that you have the wrong information. This year, the food truck day will be held at Calder Plaza. Please remember that. Lisa Segura, that is a great answer. Tom, you have the wrong information. It will take place at Calder Plaza. That's good. Tom, but it's not about what you say. It's not only about what you say, because what you said, what you have written here is perfect, but it's about your sound. Remember that it's about your attitude. So if I say the exact same thing in Korean way, like Korean-ish way, it would say, no, you have the wrong information. I will take a place at the Calder Plaza. <laughs> Did you understand what I just said? I said it in like Korean person style. I said, no, you have the wrong information. I will take place at, I will take place at Keldo Plaza. You won't be able to get a good score, okay? So you say simple answer, you give the right, perfect, correct information. You say it in a good way, which is good sound. You would say, no, you have the wrong information. I mean, it will not be take, sorry. You, have, you gotta leave out the word B. It will take place at Keldo Plaza. Okay, now here's a, here's a name. Koi Nguyu and Nguyu and Huang. Well, I think it is not. The food truck day will begin. It's not begin. It's got to be be held. Will be held or will take place at Calder Plaza. And will start. Will start at 11 a.m. Tay, you got the wrong information. The, you don't have to say the correct information is. You don't necessarily have to mention that you're ready to give the correct information. You don't have to say that, Tay. Okay, just leave out, leave that out. Esperanza, you have the wrong information. The food drug day will be held at Calder Plaza. Please keep that in mind. All right, that's a simple answer that I really like. And Jimmy also said, no, the food drug day will be held at Calder Plaza. So please don't go to the wrong place. <laughs> that's also very good. Mayu Yun, hello, welcome to the show. 
We're halfway through the show, actually. Please, everybody. Oh, yo, 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 yo. Please press the like button, please. <laughs> we need the likes. Yes. Oh, and Lisa Segura is saying, this is my first time in your live show, and I'm from Costa Rica, and you have helped me a lot. Thank you so much. Wow, Costa Rica. Costa Ricans. Who are the Costa Ricans here? I see some names who are from, coming from Costa Rica. Great. Thanks for coming on the show. Great. I've been hearing your country's name a lot recently. World Cup, Costa Rica. Okay. Now, guys, let's move on to the last question. Guys ready? All right, so here we go. Could you please tell me all the details about the festivals held in May? So easy, huh? Okay. Could you please tell me about all the details of the festivals held in May? All the details. All the details about the festivals held in May. Lamb Chow's answer. Well, your neighbor's information was wrong. Okay. But, you know, Lamb, I would say uh, you've got the wrong information. That's how we normally say it, okay? <laughs> well, yeah, you guys lost, but still. It's World Cup. It's like the world's festival. We enjoy it. Okay. Could you guys please tell me all the details about the festivals held in May? Mm. No, last night when Korea team was playing from 10 p.m. to 12 midnight, there were no cars on the street. There were basically no cars, literally no cars. Oh, I took a picture last night when I was passing by that Gwanghwamun area. Oh, this is a car. Like, this is like the... You see, this is like the big screen and, p and the big stage where like singers would come up and dance and like cheer together. There's, there's a big screen where people could watch the game and people were sitting there already. People were sitting there. It was like long lines of people sitting. And this picture was taken at 547. The game started at 10. People like waited for almost more than five, six hours. Okay, so I see Nade Sintra. The half marathon will take place at the Kensington area on May 14th. Great. Hey, Dang Dui. Hello, teacher. This is the first time I've been here. Thanks for the videos that you posted. How are you these days? Did you control your channel after the problem occurred in the room? Yes. Yes. That was a very huge happening for our team. I mean, like, have you imagined your channel or your email getting hacked? Because I have never had that experience. So when we first found out, I mean, we didn't even find it out. Uh, some of our followers, like viewers, like you guys, sent me messages saying, your account is hacked. Did you know? Do you know? And we're like, really? We're, we're going to have a live show next week. Are we really hacked? And when we went on, I mean, we weren't able to log on to our account because they changed uh, the password. So it took about a week to get it back. But yeah, now it's back in our control. And uh, we've changed it to a very strong password so that hackers cannot hack it again. But it was it was a bizarre. I mean, like, at the moment when we found it out, we're like, oh my gosh. I mean, we started our channel in 2017. It's almost like five, six years of work. It's gone. They took it away from us. Oh, what the? But yeah, it's solved. It's fine. Thank you for asking. I know it's a long answer that has to be typed, but again, the question is, could you please tell me all the details about the festivals held in May? Could you please? Please, please, please. Mm. I know what you guys are doing right now. Like, their thumbs are moving so fast, isn't it? <laughs> Mm. 
Mm. Uh, again, uh, towards the end of the show, we're going to have you guys upload your email addresses in our chat room. And if you're interested in talking to me one on one and getting my feedback, then please stay until the end of the show. And once you send the email address, we're going to send you an invite, an invitation message where you could just press and, you know, be in the room with me one on one. And I'm going to give you feedback on some of your toy speaking answers. Okay. Okay, so I have the answer from Lam Chow. Let me check. There are two festivals, indeed. First is the Spring Flower Festival at Bloomington Valley on May 6th. The other is the International Food Festival, which will be held. Now, if this is going to be grammatically right, you have to say which will be held, okay? Because the other is the International Food Festival. That's basically literally the end of a sentence. And if you want to combine or connect another sentence to it, you have to say, and it will be, or in one word, which will be held at Clayton Center. Nate Sintra, hmm, I'm afraid not. The food truck day will take place at Calder Plaza on May 12th. Okay, now you're saying something about the second question. That is true. That is correct. That's how you would say it. I'm getting a lot of people from Costa Rica today, huh? And Wang Orange, there are two festivals. Remember, it's got to be plural. There are two. And the first is the Spring Flower Festival on Saturday, May 6th at the Bloomington Valley. Then the other is International Food Valley. It's on Sunday, May 21st at the Ka Caton. Is it? It's Clayton, right? It's Clayton Center as a typo. Now, when you say the dates, make sure you say May 6th and May 21st, okay? Okay, Tung, well, there are two. On May 6th, there will be an event, Spring Flower Festival. You should say there will be an event called, C-A-L-L-E-D, because it's a name of an event, right? So you have to say, there will be an event called Spring Flower Festival at Bloomington Valley. And on May 21st, there will be, oh, International Food Festival will be held at Clayton Center. That is fine. Okay. Wang Orange, there are two festivals. Good. You changed it. Mm -hmm. You copied and pasted it. <laughs> Mixed that. You added S. I see. Good. All right. Now, we're going to speed up a little because I need to talk to you guys at the end of the show. Remember, I want to give you more time to many people. Now, we're going to move on to the last question, which is this one here. And this wasn't an easy question. It was quite complicated. I mean, guys, look at it and think about it for a moment. Considering the changes happening in our society, which of the following industries do you think will change the most in the future? Do you see what they're asking here? Now, considering the changes happening in our society, which of the following industries do you think will change the most in the future? Agriculture, entertainment, and transportation. And everybody in this chat room, everybody watching the show, I'm pretty sure you guys have your own idea on which one will change the most. But it's not so easy even to say that in your own language, right? I mean, me talking about agriculture in Korean, I don't know what to say. And entertainment, I mean, like, there's K-pop everywhere these days. And, you know, the opening of World Cup, I mean, BTS, come on, we have so many things to talk about. But how am I going to say it? And lastly, about transportation. I mean, Elon Musk, the electric cars, everything like that. Like the, you know, the whole world is trying to get rid of the gasoline cars, right? So how are you going to say it? How are you going to talk about it for one minute? That's the problem. Guys, think about it. Let it sink in. Let it like be, get into your head and think about what you would say it in your own language. And let's talk about it in English. Now, Mr. Lim said there are two. One is Spring Flower Festival. It will be held on May 6th from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. at Bloomington Valley. And the other is International Food Festival on Sunday, May 21st at Clayton Center. Both of them will be held in May. I think Mr. Lim here has got the best answer for the last question given. Guys, take a look at Mr. Lim Chung Jung whatever. Yeah, I can't read the last Chinese. Sorry. 
Yeah, but it's the answer that's been uploaded at 9.24 p.m. I like that answer. It's great. It's perfect. Simple, perfect. Not too much, not too little. Everything's there. Okay. And for those of you who have been already been <laughs> typing, just upload it. I'll read it and see if you're grammatically right or wrong. But guys, if you haven't started, just like move on to the next question, which is on the screen right now. It's considering the changes happening in our society, which of the following industries do you think will change the most in the future? Agriculture, the farmers, farming, entertainment, the K-pop, everything, and transportation, electric cars and gasoline cars, like, if I give you a clue, I would, uh, I don't know. I would talk about, it's, um, it's 926 in Korea right now. I would say transportation. I think that's something that I can talk most about. I don't, I don't know much about agriculture. Sorry. I'm, I'm not much into farming. I mean, like. We eat, we eat crops, we eat vegetables all the time, but I don't do farming. So I don't know anything about the farming industry, the agriculture industry. And entertainment, I mean, I'm really into Blackpink these days and I really love to listen to their songs and I, you know, follow their tours. Like I watch their tour videos, but I don't know what to say about that too. I don't know what to say about them either. So transportation, I would talk about like, you know, how the world is being polluted, the air is getting bad, and the global warming is getting worse. And we need to get rid of, like, all the emission gas <laughs> produced by the gasoline cars. Now, these words are hard, right? Emission gas produced by gasoline cars, and a lot of countries are making laws regarding the restrictions. And, um... Yeah, I heard. I'm not sure about the laws, but by the year 2025, right? A lot of uh, manufacturers, they need to use renewable energy. They need to use renewable energy to produce their things. So I think like transportation would change the most. Like more and more people are interested in buying electric cars like Tesla. And there are a lot of electric car models from Hyundai. I, my friend has some, my friends have some, I've ridden some and they're very quiet. I've been on Tesla and it's very quiet. It doesn't have that engine sound, so some people don't like it. But anyways, so I think more and more people will buy electric cars in the future and maybe by the year 2045, let's say, 2040. I think the world would only have electric cars. That's my opinion. I mean, you would have to pay a lot of money to ride gasoline cars. Like tax? Hmm. IV said, in my opinion, I think entertainment will change the most in the future because visual reality and the augmented reality device will become cheaper and easier. Yeah. I have a friend who bought that goggle and he is like wearing it and he has the music turned on. He says it feels like he's at one of those like, you know, concerts. It feels really real. Yeah. Lin Ching, Lin Ching Shin. Oh, Vivi. Okay. So I got that name Lin right. <laughs> in Korea, we say Chong. That's why I said Chong. But in Chinese, I said it, it, I guess it's Ching. Okay. You're right about VR and AR. Yeah. You know, but like what VR and AR is going to help the most, it is entertainment for sure. But I heard. This is not my opinion. I heard from a conference that it's going to be the sex industry. <laughs> it's going to be very, very like um, doing well because of VR and AR. Yes. But anyway, I, I truly agree with that. The VR and AR. Yes. Mm. Who has something to say about the agriculture? agriculture you know these days like people they grow plants on water and they have farms that look like apartments like you don't have to have a field 
but you have this building full of like water farm and you would plant these like plants <laughs> i don't know i don't even know the words to say in those like tanks and they would grow they say they're not nutritionally better than the ones that you grow in soil but still they grow and you can you know have lettuce or some kind of vegetables grown in those apartment farms that's what i know about agriculture i don't know much and you know like we used to do everything with hands we you know the farmers would used to like use their hands and they would have to walk around the field to do everything but you know they've been using machines tractors and everything and now they have drones they can use drones to water the crops and i don't know about harvesting but they can still use crop i mean the, the drones right and drones to like water them and give pesticides and homicide herbicides so i think it's gotten easier uh and those devices can let us enter the metaverse to interact with vir virtual worlds i guess you're doing some kind of research in this field aren't you you have much knowledge about the vrs and ers okay well it seems like you know much more about that than me what I can say is about transportation. So I'm going to share my answer and I'm just going to let somebody talk about their answer. Okay. In person. I can't wait to use a uh, Google hangout. Hold on a second. Let me sh share my answer first for part six, part five, which used to be part six. Well, considering what's happening in our society, I think uh, transportation industry will change the most in the future. And there are several reasons to support my opinion. And most of all, I think it has to change because we have to save the environment and save the earth. For example, we use gasoline for everything. We've been using gasoline. We've been using gasoline for cars, factories. And because of that, we are, you know, polluting the whole of the air and there's too much air pollution and we're are kill we are killing the earth and we have to do something about it unless uh, because of the global warming and as the global the globe the earth is getting warm um warming up we're like you know we can't live longer on earth and we, need, we might have to find another planet so that is why a lot of you know governments are trying to get l l limit the use of gasoline cars and try to have more people use the electric cars because that way we could save the environment and that is why more people would you know buy electric cars in the future and that's why i think the transportation will change the most in the future oh my god i talked about another planet that is bizarre i mean like this it's really hard i'm just saying it's hard it wasn't easy for me either okay oh teji your company is developing device for growing vegetable indoors maybe you could talk about that too Lam Chow said, in my point of view, transportation industry will change because vehicle will change from using gas to using electrics to run, right? Gasoline cars, electric cars is what you could say. I mean, more people have to use, have to use electric cars as time goes by, right? It's something like legally done, what will be legally done. Okay. So guys, are you if you guys are still thinking about what to say, you guys can keep think. Keep thinking about what to say. But what you got to do is if you want to share your answers with me, type in your email address right now in our chat room and we're going to send you an invitation. We're going to send you an invite. And when you what you have to check your email actually. You have to check your email to check the invite and you check the invitation. If you when you check once you check the invite, click on that thingy and you'll be in the room okay we haven't done it with anybody so oh okay hmm. i know we used to use instagram live but there was a lot of problem with that like we've been using it for two three months so we changed it to google hangout this time so we want to see how this one works Send up, like, type, type in your email address so we can send you the invitation. Hmm. Or are you guys too shy to share your email address? 
Mm -hmm. If you want to talk to Gwen 101, why don't you guys send in your email address? Many tourists will visit the city and the economy will be improved. Take Taipei, for example. Transportation. That is true. Taipei has a very convenient transportation system. Hmm. I was impressed when some roads change, like one of the lanes change, switch from this, like this way straight to that way straight. According to which time? Flying car or drone? Lam Chow. I think there will be many different kinds of vehicles available, transportations available. I think Lam, you're, that's what you're trying to say. There will be more kinds of transportations available. Is there anyone who wants to talk to me in person who is willing to send in your email address? Please upload it in the chat room. Are you guys are hesitating because you don't want your emails to be like revealed? That could be the case. Hmm. In that case, we might have to find like another way to talk to you guys. Hmm. Are you guys still typing in your answers for part five? Okay, Lisseth, I consider the agricultural industry will change the most. I have some reasons to support my opinion. And first, big industries are using machinery. Line? Um, it's not about line or Instagram. It's about like having, having it streamed. I have Line and I have Instagram, I have Kakao, but um, it's really hard to is, like stream this whole thing using that platform. Supporting my opinion first, big industry are using machinery to plant the produce, produce crops. Mm -hmm. Crops. For example, my dad is a farmer and used to plant vegetables for sale. However, nowadays he's not getting sales because he, the stores are buying their produce to bigger. Okay. I understand what you're trying to say and you're trying to describe it in a long story and your words are limited, right? Mm. Are you saying that it's really hard to sell crops to customers directly? Are you trying to say that like big in uh, big companies are buying the produce instead and they're like, you know, um, distributing them, distributing them instead of you? being able to sell them directly there's a whole distribution channel i think that is what you are trying to say nobody wants to talk to me on google hangout it's not that complicated guys all you got to do is type in your email address and i'm going to send you an invitation it's for today. It's for now. We're going to do it right now. You're going to be on the show. It's uh, for today. And big companies are taking over. Yes, that's true. Like Walmart. Guys, it's a speaking test. You got to be speaking, not typing. So challenge yourself. Send in your email address <laughs> and I'm willing to give you feedback. Uh, it's not easy for you guys, huh? I mean, when it was Instagram, a lot of people participated. It's that like having Instagram linked together with YouTube, there were some conflicts. I don't know why, but it was too slow and we got disconnected so frequently. So we decided to use the Google invite. Not uh, no, Google Hangout, sorry. But the only way to do this is by sending you an invitation. Yes. 
in order. We're going to keep it in order because not everybody can do it, come in at once. I have to meet everybody one on one. So I was hoping to talk to at least like four or five of you tonight, but nobody is giving me the email address. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. You don't want to try? <laughs> I know. I mean, like, does d their faces will show up, right? Oh, that's the thing. Yeah. Well, you can wear a mask. Why don't you guys wear a mask and <laughs> come on? The it's not an easy thing, isn't it? What? Like, on Instagram, it was... I'm not prepared. <laughs> no one's prepared? My gosh. You need to get my feedback when speaking, not when typing. Let me try out this new system. It's new. Don't you guys want to try out the state of the art technology? Being able to talk to Gwen live? Nobody's ready? Oh my gosh. I feel so left out. I mean, we have all this like, prepared and nobody wants to do it. Uh, it doesn't matter. Whichever email address. You check the email. We're going to send you an email invitation and you check it. You click it and you're in the room right away. Yeah, just send us an email address where we could send you the invitation. It's 640 in Costa Rica? <laughs> Bella, you don't have the guts. Feel ner feeling nervous. Esperanza, feeling nervous. Okay. <laughs> KG, send me your email address. We're going to send you an invitation. Or maybe people are shy to share their e email address here. Hmm. Am I, I'm checking my Instagram if I'm getting any messages. Okay. Go, Teiji, go. Everybody's rooting for you, Teiji. You got to be on the show. Oh. YouTube banned you. DM me on Instagram. Can anybody DM me on Instagram? It's Daily Dose under Bar Gwen. And if you guys want to get on the show, then I'm checking my message right now. Hmm. Teji, you have my cacao. You can send me your email to uh, my cacao. Oh my gosh. Ah, I see Teji doing something. Yeah. I can see your stat. I see you typing in something. So it is Hold on Okay 
I got Teiji's address, so I think I'm gonna have be able to like invite Teiji. You know the moment like when you turn on Netflix, they say do <laughs> and the episode starts. Teji, get ready. Once you get the invitation, Teji, click on that invitation address and you'll be in the room with me. You'll be in that virtual room with me. Okay. The screen will switch. We're going to give you. Again, type your email address, not in the chat room. If you don't feel like it, it's not happening in the chat room. So DM me. <gasps> it's happening. Teji, can you hear me? Teji's not here yet. Okay, we added your address just now. So you should be able to check your email now. So Teji. If you are, if you got your email, check your email and click on that address, whatever that you got. Okay. Is it happening? Hello? It's happening, guys. It's Google Meet. Oh my gosh. I'm here. Teji, are you there? I'm here. Are you there? Guys, can you see me? Okay. Well, you know what? It's it's the technology. We're trying over again. <laughs> Hold on a second. I hope Teji, don't go anywhere. Okay. We just sent you an invite again. You should be able to check it. In your email. Okay. KG accept it and once you accept it we'll be talking okay he's not here yet he's not here yet oh <gasps> yes, Teji. D did you check your email, Teji? I'm chatting with him, actually. Gosh, it's really hard to combine two different kinds of platforms. Hmm. So hard. So complicated. Katie, you need to check. Katie needs to check his email. He needs to click our invitation. So he could join the room that I'm in right now. You guys cannot see me on the screen right now, but um, I'm here. <gasps> Can you 
see me? But I can't hear you. Hold on, hold on a second, hold on. It's really clear. The thing is, I can't hear him right now. Hold on, I'm trying to... I don't have it. Oh, 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 oh. Hold on, hold on. Hello? 안녕하세요. 안녕하세요. 오랜만이에요. 오랜만입니다. <laughs> so I have to say 금방와, right? 금방와. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. How are you doing today? Uh, uh, yeah, good. Yeah, very good. Yeah. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We don't. I don't how to connect this <laughs> this system. It is very very complicated. Uh, yeah. But you did a good yes, job. Yeah. Did you receive uh, an yeah, email? Thanks. Yes. Mm hmm. And yes. you clicked on it, and you were in the room, right? Yeah. Okay, great. Okay, so Teji, I have you here. <laughs> great. And can you see the passage? Oh, uh, yeah. Okay, now. Wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Uh-huh, sure. Well, I'll give you some seconds. And once you're ready, you can start uh, reading, and I'm going to give you feedback. And I'm pretty sure many okay. people are watching us, so let's do a good job. <laughs> okay, don't get nervous. Okay. Okay. okay, when you whenever you're ready. Okay, what what is hold on? Mm -hmm. Hold on, please. Okay. Okay. I'll suck. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Ladies and gentlemen, we will arrive at the Baker Field Station in fifteen minutes. So sorry. Um the screen disappear. Sorry. Screen is not there? Yeah. It's it's there, right? Okay. Mm hmm Sorry. Can okay. you see now? I'll okay. try. Mm -hmm. well, yes, okay. I'll try one more time. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, we will arrive at the Baker Field Station in 15 minutes. Don't forget to take a trash, luggage, and other personal belongings with you when you leave the train. Thank you for choosing Southern Express for your trip, and we hope to see you again soon. Okay, that was really good. And it was in moderate speed. And because you got everything right, you were reading everything correctly, I want you to speed up a little bit this time. Okay. Okay, yeah, but you know what? Before you speed up, I'm going to read a sentence one by one for you. So listen to me first and follow. Repeat after me each sentence, okay? Okay. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, we will arrive at Bakersfield Station in 15 minutes. Now your turn. Ladies and gentlemen, we will, we will arrive at the Baker Field Station in 15 minutes. Okay, hold on a second. Now, when you were reading this sentence, I want mm. you to make more clear sound. Clear sound for the word yeah. arrive. Arrive. Alive. Alive. Okay, it's not alive, mm. but you have to pull out your uh, lips. It's arrive. Okay, arrive. 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 Alive. Okay? Alive. And when you were saying gentlemen it's not gentlemen it's gentlemen oh, gentlemen 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 okay so gentlemen. we're going to try yeah. it one more time ladies and gentlemen will arrive at bakersfield station in 15 minutes one more time ladies and gentlemen will arrive at bakersfield station in 15 minutes okay once again i'm going to check you on that Arrive. It's not alive. You have to work on the R sound. It's arrive. Arrive. Alive. Okay. Alive. Now listen carefully. Yeah. Don't forget yeah. to take your trash, luggage, and other personal belongings with you when you leave the train. Your turn. Don't forget to take your trash, luggage, and other personal belongings with you when you leave the train okay now when you're saying the word other it's the th mm. sound again it's not other it's mm. other oh, other other, oh, other, okay. oh. other personal belongings now with you again with you mm. with you with you okay with, with you. you okay so you got to be careful okay. with the th sound there are two th sound mm. so once again mm. don't forget to take your trash luggage and other personal belongings with you when you leave the train let's go don't forget to take the trash, luggage, and other personal belongings with you when you leave the train. Okay, now last sentence is, thank you for choosing Southern Express for your trip, and we hope to see you again soon. Let's go.
Thank you for shooting Southern Express for your trip. And we hope to see you again soon. Good, good, good. Now, the last part, the one that I want you to fix is the word again. So because this yeah. word has the second syllable stress, you don't have to say mm. again, but it's more like uh, mm. again, again, again. Okay, don't say yeah. again, it's uh, uh, oh. okay? Yeah. So thank you for choosing Southern Express for your trip. <laughs> mm. And we hope to see you again soon. One more time. Thank you for choosing Southern Express for your trip. And we hope to see you again soon. Good, good job. All right. So overall, again, I want you to be careful when you say the TH sound. Mm. Okay. Yes. Because mm. both Koreans and Japanese, we have a hard time making the correct TH sound. And mm. once again, your uh, pronunciation for R is unclear. So it's got to be mm. arrive, arrive. Arrive, arrive. Okay. Let's repeat some word that has R sound. L repeat after mm. me. Right. Right. No, it's right. the right, right. All uh, right. Not right. left, right, right. Right. The spelling is R I G H T. Right. Ah, uh, uh, right, right. Not right, yeah. not light. You have to pull out your lips. It's right. Right. No, no, no. Right. So. So when you are making this sound, you have to first mm. sort of think like you're making the oo sound. Oo. Oo. Right. Ooh. Ooh. Right. Ooh. Right. Ooh. Right. 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 Okay. So right. again, arrive. 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 Right. right. Okay. You have to pull out your lips to make the right R mm. sound. Okay. Mm. Right. Yeah. So you right. have to practice the R sound to differentiate mm. the sounds between R and L. It's right. Look at me. Right. right. Left. Mm. Right. Mm. Left. Right. Mm. Left. Let's Try it. Okay. Right, right, left, right, left, right, right, left, left, right. Okay. So make sure to correct your R sound. Other mm. was fine. Other things were fine. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Well, PG, yeah. thank you for volunteering to become uh -huh. the first participant, <laughs> and I'd like to talk to you again later. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. Maybe everybody confusing. I, it is very confusing. It is. It is. Yeah. yeah but thanks to you, I have two more people who wants to participate. For so, thank uh, yeah. you for volunteering. Okay. 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 Bye bye. I'll talk to you again. Okay. Uh, yeah. Annyeong. Mm -hmm. Annyeong. Annyeong. Mm -hmm. Okay. I wonder who's gonna be the next person. And this time, when the person comes up, it's going to be part two, the picture we're going to be describing. Part two picture, yes. And we're waiting for one person to... Oh my gosh. Who is this person? We've got the person's Gmail address. Still waiting. It's Mr. Tung. No, Ms. Tung. Yeah, hello, teacher. Hello. So could you please introduce yourself a little bit to us? Uh, I'm from Taiwan. Oh, you're from yeah. Taiwan? Yes. Okay. Which part of Taiwan are you from? Uh, I'm from Miaoli. Oh, okay. And w w w which part of the island is it located? Uh, is um middle from taiwan oh okay all right it's in the middle but of taiwan I, uh but i work from zhonghua mm, okay and and why do you uh, study toy speaking 
uh, because I want to improve my English skill mm -hmm. and uh, I am a teacher mm -hmm. and we uh, we need to develop develop our skill about bilingual oh yes bilingual i heard course. your government wants teachers to be bilinguals right yes okay. so i need to get b2 uh -huh. level oh and okay. i have a test uh -huh. next week you have a test next week and how yeah, long have you been preparing toy speaking about three months three months okay that's a long time so are you ready to describe the picture Yes, I'm ready. Okay, so we're going to give you 30 seconds, and once you see the timer, you can start talking about your answer, okay? Okay. Okay, once you see the timer, let's start. Oh, we don't have a timer available on the screen. So you know what? I'm going to show you my timer. Hold on a second. All right, I'm going to start, and you can start right away. Go. Okay. Mm-hmm. It's in my... Mm-hmm. I can see the timer. Yeah, I, I'm shaking. I'm I'm doing it my with my own phone here. Can you oh, see me yeah. here? <laughs> okay, sorry. <laughs> All right. So one, two, three, go. This is picture taken outside, and there are two people in this picture. On the left side of the picture, there's a woman, and she's holding a pen, and she's writing something on the paper. And on the right side of the picture, there's a man and he is checking the electric wire and maybe they are very busy okay now your answer was a little too short you had six more seconds okay 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 so, so your answer was only 24 seconds long so you could have spoken a little bit longer i recommend that one first choice and the second one is all right I'm not, I'm, I don't know Chinese. I don't know Chinese language and I know some expressions, but I know like mainland Chinese and Taiwanese Chinese and people from Hong Kong, they have different kind of Chinese, right? Yes. You speak a little bit differently. And when we think about people from Hong Kong, it's more like, nah, 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 and they have more linking sound. Is it right? Yes. Okay. I want you to think like that. When you are talking in English, you need more thick linking sound, okay? So when you were saying, this is a picture taken at a construction site, you sounded like this is a picture taken at a construction site. And there are two people in this picture. You were choppy. You were like cutting off the words. So mm -hmm. when you are talking in English, it's got to be more linked. The sound, the words have to be linked. So it's got to be, this is a picture taken at a construction site and there are two people in this picture. See how I'm linking all the words and making the sounds link together? So one way to do it is to stop breathing. You should stop breathing and if you want to do, like really make sure you're not breathing, you just like, you know, hold your nose like this. Right now I'm not breathing and I'm just talking with my mouth, but I'm not breathing because I don't need to breath. I have the breath already here. And when I need to breathe, I breathe in and I'm just talking and talking and talking. And when I need to breathe, I breathe again. So you need to not breathe when you are speaking a sentence. Uh -huh. Okay, so tr try to copy what I say to you right now. Try to copy what I tell you. This is a picture taken at a construction site. Your turn. This is picture taking at a construction site. Okay, once, once again, see, site. the problem with that was linking sound, okay? You don't have to be doing it too fast. Listen carefully again. This is a picture taken at a construction site. Once again. This is a picture taken at a construction site. Okay, now you see the problem? The word taken and the word construction is not pronounced properly. And because it doesn't have a clear sound, you have a problem linking the sounds in the middle. Okay, so let's try it a little bit slower. Yeah. This is a picture taken at a construction site. Your turn. This is a picture taken at the construction site. Once again, taken at a construction site. Again. Taken at the construction construction site okay all right so overall the problem is pronunciation 
okay? I have my students read all the time. I want them to read, read, read a lot of English. So their tongue and their mouth, everything gets used to making the English sound. Okay, so Ms. Tung, it's not about practicing your answers. It is really, you know, practicing answer is also helpful. But for you, I think reading English aloud is more necessary at the moment. You need to practice more English sound so you can make, you know, linking sounds more naturally. Okay. Do, do you get my point? Uh, yeah, I got it. Okay. All right. And uh, let me let me have you practice one more. One more. Okay. There are two people in this picture. Okay. This is a very easy sentence. There are two people in this picture. Now try it slowly. There are two people in this picture. Again, your turn. There are two people in this picture. See again, what you're doing is there are two people in this picture. You're cutting the sounds off. I want you to link them together. There are two people in this picture. Link it. There are two people in this picture. Again, your turn. There are two people in this picture. Much better. That's how you do it. Okay. You got to link the sound. You shouldn't cut the sounds off. Okay. So make okay. sure to take note of it and try practicing with part one. All right. Okay. okay. All right. Nice talking to you, Ms. Tang. Yes, thank you, teacher. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm. All right. We have more people coming in. Great. Now you got the confidence, guys? Wow, this is much better than Instagram Live because when in, when I was doing Instagram, there was a lag. So I, you know, like after speaking, you guys were like talk answering after like some minutes or even after like three, four minutes. But now I can talk to you like instantly. Who's the next person? Uh, it's Jimmy somebody. It's Jimmy somebody. You're here. Hello. I can't see your face. Actually, it's much. Oh, hello, Jimmy. Uh, I can't hear you. Is your mic on? Hello. Uh, we're, I'm gonna have you do part two, the the second one. But I can't hear you. I need your sound turned on. Is your mic working? Your mic is turned off. It's been turned off. You need to turn on your mic. Oh, okay. Yes, good, good, great. Hello, Jimmy. Hello, Hello Miss Miss Green. Okay, can you introduce yourself to us? Yes, I'm from Taiwan, mm -hmm. and I'm from east of Taiwan. Oh, okay. Taichung. All yes. right, Taichung. I know Taichung. Taichung. <laughs> yes. It's the, uh, east. Okay, in the east of Taichung. Okay. So, uh, why are you learning Taoic speaking? Well, I want to attend uh, a, a test is for uh, maybe I can uh, reach up for a pilot's text. Oh, so yeah. you want to become a pilot? Yes, okay. so I need to speak, uh, practice my English. Okay, great. It seems like your pronunciation is great, but let's see how well you can do for this picture, okay? And because we okay. don't have the timer on the screen, you have to look at my screen, my my you know my face, and I'm gonna have the timer next to me. All right, so one, two, three, go. Okay. Uh, well, this is a picture taken at a grocery store, mm -hmm. and. Uh, on the left side of the picture is a man, and he's wearing a, an apron. Mm -hmm. And on the right side of the picture, there's the customer, mm -hmm. and his, uh, she has the brown, uh, brown and uh, curl hair, mm -hmm. and she's uh, ready for check. And on, on, on the clerk is... Uh, Okay, the Jimmy, time. the time's up. Yeah. Okay, so now, Jimmy, there are two things yeah. that I want to tell you. First of all, yeah. when you are saying the left and the right, I think you got it confused. Oh. Okay, so the guy is on the left side of the picture mm -hmm. and the woman is on the right side of the picture, right? So could you please repeat after me on the left side of the picture? On the left side of the picture. Okay, on the right side of the picture. On the right side of the picture. Okay, so make sure you don't get those two confused. And you have to be clear with the words. It's on the left side of the picture. There are seven words there. 
on the left side of the picture. Okay, repeat again after me. On the left side of the picture. On the left side of the picture. Right. On the right side of the picture. On the right side of the picture. No, no, no. That wasn't clear. On the right side of the picture. On the right side of the picture. Right. You have to be clear whether you're saying left or right. Okay. So make sure to differentiate those two sounds. And when you were talking about the people in the picture, you focused too much on their appearance. You were talking about the apron. And once again, can you repeat after me? Apron. Apron. No, it's not apron. It's apron. It's like alphabet A. Apron. 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 Okay, make sure to make the clear A sound. And you are focusing too much on the looks, the apron, the long hair, the brown hair. Okay, don't talk about the appearance too much. Talk about what they are doing. He is holding a pineapple. He's scanning the pineapple. She is smiling. She is standing in front of him. Okay, in order to get better score, you need to focus on the verbs, not the, you know, appearance. Okay. Okay. So make sure when you're practicing for part two, use more verbs. That's one thing that you need to make sure about and make sure to make the correct sound for left and right. Okay. Thank okay. You, teacher. okay. Thank you for participating, Jimmy. Have a good evening. Have a good night. Bye bye. All right. We have one more person who has the word cute. In the email address, yes, it's cute, bunny cute. Okay. And uh, we're gonna have this person do the second passage of part one. The second passage, remember the phone message? Yes, the second passage of part one. Mm-hmm. If this person doesn't come up on the show, we have one more person waiting. And the ID is, uh, the email address is always happy. Uh, it's taking some time to have the person. Okay. Bunny's not coming. Okay, so we're gonna have Always Happy come up on the show. Is Always Happy there? No. You need to check your email. Yeah, you need to check your email to check our invite. We send you an invitation through your email out to your email address. That's why we need your email address. So you guys got to check your email account to see to get to check our invitation. And in the invitation letter, there is a thing that you should click on and you should be able to come up on the show. But this platform is really clean and clear. It's really fast. It's prompt. And there's no lag. So it really does feel like we're talking. Oh. No more? Is everybody gone? Has everybody gone to watch the soccer game? The first game must have started, huh? Wow, we have like 43 people still watching the show and we don't have, would have the person like clicking the invite invitation. Okay. I'm going to give you like one more minute. So the person who checks the invitation could like come up on the show. And get my feedback, but mm. okay. All right, so guys, 
Uh, I think this is like all we have for tonight. Yeah, I think it's taking um, for some reason we're not having the. Okay, now. All right, so can we get me to like full screen? Like, can we get me on full screen? I can't. Okay, like I'm gonna be here on the corner of this, you know, screen. So, guys, you see how it's done, right? You guys saw how it's done. We're gonna have you guys invited to the show. So, if you come on the show, like you just saw, you can get my feedback one on one. But the thing is, we need your email address. Oh, Teji is back here. <laughs> Teji, you need to leave. Leave the meeting. You need to leave. We're going to end. Thank you. <laughs> okay. So um, we are going to do the, like you know, try this platform one more time in December. But the thing is, we have decided we need to get your email in advance ahead of the show. It doesn't happen simultaneously. So once we send you the invitation, I guess you, know, you can be able, you'll be able to check the email and click on it. But um, we're going to think about it, how it's done. But we're going to get your email address before before the show so we can send you the invitation like you know uh, during the show right and like right away so yeah well thank you guys for coming back to the show now in october we weren't able to do it because the account was hacked and i'm sure if you were following our you know account you must have known something weird was coming up and it wasn't us who was doing it it wasn't us who were doing it it was somebody else the hacker and we got it all reserved it's all safe now and it's under our control so we're back here and that's why we were able to do a live show this month now next month the live show will be Hi. Hi. Hello. Yeah, teacher. Hello, Hapa. I'm tired. Okay. Hi. So what is your name? Yeah. Um, uh, my name is uh, Yasuko. Yasuko. Are you from Japan? Yes. Okay. So why are you... Yeah. Uh, can you introduce yourself a little bit to us? Yeah. Um, um, uh, my name is Yasuko and I'm from Japan. Mm -hmm. And uh, I need to get the... Uh, uh, Toy speaking and writing mm. test score for I I try to go move to another country. Oh, okay. Where, where do you want to move to? Uh, because this is uh, my husband country. I have to prove a toy score. Uh, oh, really? Speaking, yeah. Which country are you moving to? Uh, Denmark. Denmark. So you need yeah. to speak English to live in Denmark. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, let's see how well you've been preparing for part one. Do you, are you ready to start? Yeah, because it's a uh, fuzzy little bit the screen. Uh huh. Okay. Yeah. All right. Let's start. Okay. Thank you for calling Crystal Dental Clinic. We were located at five twenty seven Century Avenue, and we are op open from nine a.m. to six p.m. Monday to so Friday at close on Saturday, Sundays, and the national holidays. Mm -hmm. If you wish to talk to one of our customer service representatives, please hold at your call will be answered momentarily. Okay. Now, um, when you want to improve your reading, one thing you can do is first, of course, the pronunciation. But secondly, I think you need to work on your meaning phrases. Now, meaning um, phrases like a chunk of words, right? So you have okay. to make stops at the proper place. For example, the first stop would be, thank you for calling Crystal Dental Clinic. That would be your first stop. Okay. We are located at 527 Stanley Avenue. Yeah. That is your second okay. stop. And okay. we are open from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. Monday through Friday. That is your third stop. And okay. closed on Saturdays, Sundays, and national holidays. That is your next stop. So you don't stop everywhere, but you stop at the right place. That is called a meaning phrase. And it is very important to show the meaning phrases. Now, okay. can you try that one more time from the beginning? Okay. Thank you for calling Crystal Dental Clinic. We are located at five. Okay, okay. All right. you just ah, stop. Sorry. You just stop. We are located okay. at 527 Stanley Avenue, and that's where you have to stop. So try again. Ah, okay. Okay. We are located at 527 Stanley uh, Avenue. Mm -hmm. And? And we are open from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. No. Monday through Friday. Ah, okay. Ah, yeah, <laughs> sorry. Uh -huh. ah, can I? Can I? Yes, try uh -huh. again. Let's. Okay. We are open. Um... 
We are open from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. Monday to through Friday and... No, 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 stop there. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. And? Friday. Mm -hmm. And closing on Saturday, Sundays, and the national holidays. Okay, that was what I was meaning, think, talking about. You have to make the stop at the right place, ah. okay? You can't just, okay. you know, read on and on and on because there's something called the meaning phrase. So you need to yeah. know where to stop. Okay, okay. Understand. So please yeah. work on that. And when you improve that, you can get better at like other things. So that is the number one thing that you need to work on right now. Okay. Okay. Thank you. All right. Yeah. Thank you for coming on the show. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Bye bye. Okay, so guys, where was I? Uh, I was talking about the date that we're going to be having our next live show. And the next live show is going to be on December, and it's be going to be in December on the 30th. Okay, so it's going to be December 30th. It's going to be not the last day of December, but it's going to be the 30th of December. It's the last Friday of December. Okay, so be there. And we're going to have you guys come up on the show here like this, you, what you just saw live. But in order to do it, you're, we're going to be asking for your email address in advance. So we're going to put, post a message on our community board on our YouTube channel. So stick with our you know channel and you'll be updated okay and uh because it's 10 21 i gotta let you guys go and i gotta go and have some uh dinner actually i didn't have my dinner yet so guys it was really nice talking to you it's been two months and hey G, thank you for coming up on the show as always and tadashi again congratulations on your big achievement i know you've been trying so hard to get that perfect score and finally i mean it's more meaningful because it's like after we, we met in person and you finally achieved it after like having some time together with me and with my students so that was also meaningful too and thank you for letting me know personally and that was really sweet of you yeah so guys i'd like to communicate with you guys so hope you guys follow me on instagram and send me your email addresses if you would like to you know come up on the show live i have you again here <laughs> you need to exit this show okay thank you yeah you need to exit the meeting okay all right okay so we need to get a hold of the system but anyways guys thank you and <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna have to close down the show with you down there sorry but guys, I'll see you next uh, next hour. I'll see you next month, guys. Thank you for being here. Bye-bye.